Coming up today on Great Day Connecticut, maybe you're thinking about building a home or moving? We'll tell you about an awesome event happening this weekend that'll let you inside more than a dozen new homes in our state. And it's the most wonderful time of the year, pumpkin spice season. We're making a healthy and delicious breakfast shake that is packed with all the flavors of fall for our recipe of the week. Plus, growing a green thumb. If you feel like you just can't keep plants alive, guilty. You're not alone. We'll share some simple tips and tricks to help them thrive. Fuller, lusher, happier, and this will grow faster now. We're making your Wednesday a great one starting right now. Oh, that's funny. Uh, you made it to Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. Welcome to Great Day, Connecticut. I'm Kara Sundlin. Ooh, Scott Haney here. Nice to see all of you on this great day. It is a picture-perfect day again. Yesterday was stunning in terms of weather. Oh, it's so nice. So nice today. Temperatures in the low 70s. But we have issued an early warning weather alert for tomorrow night into Friday morning, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so we'll have that coming up. In the meantime, I'm so sad. Angela Lansbury has died. What a shame. 96, yeah. though. God bless her soul. What a great life she had. I mean, I just, at least as a kid, I watched Mary it all the time. I loved, I loved it. Um, and she just spanned decades in TV, her. the movies, oh playwrights, on stage. Yeah, she said she had a rough childhood and that she would pretend that she was acting and uh, she went she went into acting as a way to escape part of her childhood and uh, just an incredible force. Uh, I think her greatest role was mother, though. I think I've shared this story with you. She, Her kids got into drugs. And she put her career on hold, took the kids to an island where oh, they had no right. access to anything. And she got them off, she got them clean and uh, just an incredible woman. And then she went back to her career. But again, Murder, She Wrote, I think most people would, would know her from, but she was an incredible Broadway actress as well. Uh, Sweeney Todd, just some of the most amazing roles she's ever been in. Uh, just an incredible actress and she's going to be missed. The picture wow. of Dorian Gray. Yeah, that's incredible. Just shy of her 97th birthday. I know, incredible. five days out, right? All right, Khloe Kardashian is detailing a recent skin cancer scare on social media. She's been talking about it on Instagram. She's sharing uh, her face with some bandages, revealing she recently had a tumor removed. Mm. She's also the founder of the clothing company Good American and said that she initially saw a small bump on her face. So she's 38, she got biopsies, and... Um, they said it was very young for her to share. To have a bump like that. At 19, they took the first one off, and they yeah. said that was incredibly young. But, um, it's important to catch those things early, and it's just a good reminder that you really are supposed to check and get checked by a dermatologist once a year. Guess where I'm going today? To the dermatologist? Dr. Bella Zubkov. Oh, hi, Dr. Bella Zubkov. Hi, Dr. Bella Zubkov. Yes, yes, I, I will be seen, there at I've seen her as well. And, you know, it's important, especially if you notice anything asymmetrical or Absolutely. changing. Absolutely. you got to check so yourself. Get it checked out. And if you can't see it, have somebody look. Right. Because that's how I found mine. You know. Oh, Paul we, Stanislaw. Yeah, but not because you asked. He saw it. No, he saw it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. You got to kismet. You can't see the whole half of your body on Scott the Scott was on side. a story that I was supposed to be on, but he went instead. It was very serendipitous, serendipitous because the doctor said, I don't like something back there underneath your collar. And you had an open shirt, which you normally don't wear. Uh, which I, it was, if you had seen this, you wouldn't have seen it. And he said, I want you to go get it checked. And you thought nothing. And even the dermatologist said, I don't think so. And it turned out melanoma. Melanoma. And that's so, a, one of the number one killers for men age uh, 50 and over, so you got to be careful, be get careful. it checked, get it checked. Okay, so uh, King Charles is having his a third, he's having the coronation that will take place um, Westminster 6th. Abbey on May 6th, mm -hmm. and they made the announcement. He's 73, he'll become the reigning monarch. Isn't that crazy? Just, it's been a long time for him waiting. It's been a long time, been a long old. time, been a long, lonely, 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 lonely. They're waiting because they say it, you need an appropriate amount of time to mourn the previous sovereign but and you, to plan the ceremony. I completely agree. They need, imagine, it's like planning a wedding. You know, you need a year or two to plan a wedding. So he's certainly going to need, need a little less than a year to plan this whole this whole show, it's going well, to be incredible. He does have a bigger staff than most he people. He certainly does. Planning the <laughs> I think he's got an event plan. He might have a little help. <laughs> and now, he doesn't have to worry about dates. He can pick the buildings he wants. <laughs> All right. Now, remember Lori Fazio? Of who's, course. Who's now Lori Fazio? You know, she's always been Lori Fazio, but I just found that out when well, I was Well, it's like this story. That. Prince Harry, he's a little confused about why everybody calls him Harry. Apparently, his name is Henry. And what? he doesn't know why they're calling him Harry. He yeah, said, my real name is Henry, and I just, you know, everyone calls me Harry, and I don't know why. 
So <laughs> even on official, uh, like he's officially known as Prince Henry Charles Albert David, and the royal family does use the name Henry in formal situations. So Harry's a nickname. I guess so, but how did Harry derive from Henry? Who knows? Jamie, get on that. But the, the, the royal experts say the majority of monarchs who were named Henry were actually referred to as Harry by friends. Isn't that interesting? Well, Karen. That was one name that was off the list in my family. We looked for H names because we like the alliteration with House. Helena House. Helena House. Harry was off the list because you can't put an adjective no, before Harry house. house. Like I just picture a house with like hair coming out. Of yeah, exactly. I'm with you. I'm the same way. You know who made the uh, his brother, Prince William? He made the list of one of the sexiest bald men out there in the world. You know, a lot of research shows that uh, bald men are sexy. I apologize. Did I get that right? Prince William? Yeah. His brother, Harry's brother? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I just want to make sure I got it right. So they rank them according to things like their cranial shine factor. Love just it. how shiny the heads are, their height, their net worth, and more. Vin Diesel took the top spot. Stanley Tucci, who has like one of the greatest jobs in the world where he just travels Italy eating, um, he won. He got, got on the list as well. What was my, one of my favorite movies? Devil Wears Prada. Stanley Tucci, unbelievable in that role. That's Vin, right? That's Mr. Diesel. Hello, Mr. Diesel. How are you? Oh, there he is. You can prove is it. it is his head shiny? His head is shiny. He's got a good cranium. Okay. Like, what happens if you decide to shave your head and then you don't realize that it's kind of bumpy or lopsided or something? I don't know. Because <laughs> it looks good if they have a round head, but what if it's like caved uh, in? I'm hanging on, Kara, to every follicle that I have. <laughs> Let me just tell you, there's no shaving going on here. <laughs> All right, there was supposed to be a blast from the past, but they're causing a lot of problems. This is unbelievable. You know, people are literally going crazy for the adult Happy Meals at McDonald's. They should have known that this was going to be a bigger deal than they thought. Well, the Happy Meals are making people unhappy. Yes, because the, the restaurants are going nuts because they've had three times the orders of Big Macs. Yeah. The com they're completely causing chaos in the, in the kitchen. And they are ending up on the Internet being scalped. For like 270 bucks. For the whole collection. Yeah, that's that's important to you get, get the, the whole grimace, collection. You get the grimace, the hamburger, the birdie, the cactus buddy, and they're being resold as much as 270 for all four. That is incredible. Now, that's because they're going to be re removed this Friday, October this Friday, 14th. October so 14. all the people who are out there trying to make money on them, they're buying them up so that they think you're going to then buy the characters. You're going to scalp the house of characters. I want my set of four and I'm not going to go anywhere until I get I it. I should have kept all my toys when I was younger. But they don't give it to you if you don't order the special sauce on the Big Mac. Totally kidding. <laughs> Look at that face. No special sauce. All right, a delicious ego inspired cream liqueur is hitting the market to mm -hmm. help grown-ups let go my ego during the holiday season. They want them to, they want you to let go. Look like Lego. Um, so it's Ego made with Craft Distillery Sugarlands Distilling Company, and it's terrific. It's a sipping cream. It's rum based with cinnamon and nutmeg, and Ego Nog will be available in select retailers for the holiday season. So you can. Uh, Caitlin, I think we need to get on this. I think you, we need to. I think is, we need to find this. This is where we differ because you really like eggnog a lot. I do. I love eggnog. It's so high it's in It's sort of like the whole pumpkin spice thing. Like we're making a pumpkin, a healthy pumpkin spice smoothie I'm for our so recipe excited. of the week. You got to take a look at this bear. We have a before and after. Do we have the before and after? We, this is the after. He was crowned winner in this year's Fat Bear Contest. Yeah. In Alaska is one of the national parks there. The 2022 champion, a bear known by the number 747, marked his second victory in three years. Kara, he ate so much salmon that he won. That's what he does. He gorges on salmon. Okay. Now, that, so everyone gets to vote on, like, the Fat Bear Week. But yeah. he defeated number 901. Yep. Um, in the Look at the size. <clears throat> 1,400 pounds of bear. He goes to the Brooks River and eats the most salmon. Like, what do the other bears get? Nothing? They get nothing. They get his sloppy <laughs> seconds. That's what's, that's like, what's going on Like, just look there. at him. He, he definitely has, he's the alpha bear. He's he like, no. totally. Get out of my stream. Get out of my stream of consciousness <laughs> is right.